Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and yep, that's a tricked out helmet. I, uh, I spent a little bit of time since the last stream getting a, a little bit more netherite. So uh, I've got the, the netherite pants, the netherite hat, and some netherite tools. Uh, still haven't quite gotten as much as I would like. I mean, who does? And because we're still because we play in the mountain base so much, I, I tend to keep the leather boots on more often than not. Uh, eventually, I will get uh, the rest of the powdered snow done around here. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, looks a little different, doesn't it? I tried. I tried. I tried so hard to get Blocky Bryson's storage system to work in here because I I don't need I don't need like a ton of storage. This this is just a place for me to empty my pockets in a, or you know uh, when I finish a project, empty out the shulkers and empty out my pockets and that kind of stuff, and just kind of get it into a sorted place. Uh, and that, and have just uh, yeah, just some items on hand, so that when when I you know I, I'm here and I want to start something, I've at least got something to start. Or if I'm in the middle of a project here, I've got something to to grab that might be missing without having to fly all the way over to the castle. Um, that that that's the that's the idea and i already started trying to put together a little bit of the storage stuff and i'm about ready to change all that up because i just realized uh why why that what i was starting to do was dumb and i'll explain that as we go first things first so let's get up to here i i want these gone by the end of the stream i, I want all this stuff gone and done and gone and did i mention gone on um <clears throat> shulker unloader has stayed pretty much the same it's sort of kind of sort of based off of something pixel Rift showed when he was explaining how shulker shulker loaders and unloaders work uh it is not the most stunning design it is not uh no, nobody's going to be praising it for its originality or anything like that and that's fine that that you know that that's fine this is fine um, but th this is, this is what I need to do to do what I want to do. That's all that matters. Uh, I don't know why I'm feeling defensive about it. Uh, <laughs> so I got an input box up here to drop shulkers into, hit the button to get the first one started, and it will continue to loop through until there are no more shulkers left. And then the empty shulker shulkers will be stored here. I got an input chest for random items that are in my pocket. So if I want to toss the glass and honeycomb in here and then let it go through, I can. This lever locks the hopper train that's going on back here between these two systems. So if we get something like, uh, because, because whichever system I went with, it was going to be a system that I was going to have to be here until it was done. And as we found out in season one, that's not always convenient. Uh, so this lever will power the hopper that's under this guy. And it will stop items from the shulker unloader and from this box from continuing on into the storage system. So I can, I can hit that, <coughs> load everything up. And then when I'm ready to go AFK for a while, or I know I'm going to be in the base for long enough, long enough for this to run, I can hit that and let it, let it rip. Um, right now, I'm keeping that default unlocked, so that way I don't introduce more problems and go, well, why isn't this loading? Oh, because I paused it. Oh. I mean, not that that's happened yet. <clears throat> uh, I, I do try to keep an ender chest and a couple of utility benches here. This light, if I did it right, should stay on as long as things are entering the system from the box, from the shulker unloader. So this should stay lit up as things are going up the elevator to hit the bulk storage system first. Uh, this is not as big as the bulk storage system in Season 1, because again, this is private stock. This, this is just a place for me to empty stuff. 
So I, I've got my dirt and gravel and grass, and honestly, I'm rethinking that grass block one because I'm not running into that much. Most of where these materials came from are from doing things like excavating this room and excavating that basement. And, and as I grow and expand this base, guess what? Those are the materials that are going to get dumped in here at, at least until I get a chance to haul it over to community storage. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's not a whole lot of grass blocks underground. Although having said that, I have some terrain work and terraforming that I do want to get to in the very, very near future. So that is that that might be that might be a thing too. So we'll, we'll you know we'll we'll kind of keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> since I could not get Blocky Bryson's storage system to work, I'm using the multi-item storage that Nembom put together. Same one we used in Season 1, only I just built the one module. I didn't build two like we had last season. Because, seriously, I don't need to. <laughs> I, I should be able to find space for everything I have, everything I need to keep handy in here. Matter of fact, if this is overflowing that bad, I need to be hauling stuff over to community storage. Because, again... This is just a place to empty my pockets, sort the items, keep a little private stock on hand, just so that way, whatever I'm working on, I've got at least the starter materials on hand. Uh, this light should, theory, theoretically, stay on as long as items are going through this sorting system. Uh, I need to add one more light now that I think about it. because So we've got bulk storage, multi-item storage and this last round is overflow i was just gonna put a bucket on them with overflow i i don't really need the signs uh matter of fact that let's just yeah because this, this is overflow i i don't think we need i don't think we need uh item frames on that and it, it's just gonna fill bottom up anything that doesn't find a home in any of those. So that's going to be non-stackables, things that I've got too much of, uh, things that I just didn't reserve a space for. All that's going to end up here. Now, let's get to the fun part, the back. <laughs> I really tried to use the, the same item elevator that I got at, uh, that we'll get to in a minute. But for whatever reason, it just it wasn't working right. And it makes me a little nervous for the other item elevator, to be honest. So this is what I've got over here. This is pretty much the same setup that I had over at the uh, Piglin Trading Farm in Season 1 up on the nether roof. I, I got this to keep this guy in place while, while this goes, while this uh, bubbles items up. Uh, so I guess... Ooh. Where am I going to pull the redstone signal and not interfere with any? Alright, I might go... I might go that way then? Hmm. Alright, I'll figure that out in a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> that That's that's like later, later. And honestly, I don't, I don't know that I need to know when stuff is going through here. I, I've got this little buffer barrel. Because I'm kind of concerned on the off chance that things start getting sent to overflow faster than they can go up the bubble the bubble vader the dropper elevator so i put that barrel there just to act as a little bit of buffer storage so we've got the nine slots in there the five slots in there and a barrel and the, there shouldn't be because because uh, the speed at which this operates the this should actually be overkill for a buffer should be uh, honestly, I really should be able to just drop that guy into that guy and send him up from there. Uh, this is pretty much this it, block for block out of Nimbom's tutorial. Uh, at least I'm like 90% sure I got a block for block. Uh, I need to, I need to get placeholders in place and actually give it its, uh, inaugural run. Uh, <laughs> 
Which, which hasn't hasn't happened yet. I mean, I, I got the buttons here that should help, uh, you know, cycle things through real quick and make sure that no items are where they ought not be. Uh, the only thing I did different is I used shroom lights instead of sea lan instead of jack lanterns uh, because these guys work just as well for those purposes, and I had a bunch of them handy where I didn't have any jack-o'-lanterns handy, and I haven't gotten the pump pumpkin melon farm going yet. Um, I haven't finished walling up this place, so that way it, it's uh, properly enclosed and surrounded with bricks, so that way when I do the next bit of expansion to the cave, I don't accidentally, you know, knock out a piece of redstone from storage or something. That that would You want to see a grown man cry, just wait until I'd knock some part of this out and not realize what what happened. <sighs> but that is pretty much it. And I've got a uh, another buffer barrel going from bulk storage into the multi-item storage. Again, that is probably overkill, but I would rather I would rather have that and not need it than the other way around. I would much rather make sure that I got a known location for items to buffer than to find out the hard way that, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, stuff is backed up. And then uh, my bulk storage, I got some indicators back here, so that way I know what's what and in which one. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been doing something a little different with my bulk storage setups. Uh, maybe I can find a better angle over here. Uh, no, there is no better angle. Th this place is so jam-packed. Um, I, I'm trying to get the zigzag with only the bottommost barrel poking out, just uh, partially for aesthetics, and partially so that way I will know that I have at least as much as it is in the bottommost barrel. And uh, I don't have to worry about, like, the middle barrel getting emptied and I got stuff above it and below it, not realizing it. So th this kind of... I, I, I'm experimenting with it. it. It is not as space efficient. But I'm kind of liking the results. Like, 90% liking the results. Um... Yeah, and this is, this is the elevator that I'm using... Uh, here. And so far I haven't had any problems with it. I wonder if the reason why using every other on this one works better than everyone on that other side is because this clock is much slower. So an item goes up. Time. An item goes up. Time. Whereas on the I need to, I really need to work on a better way to get to and fro. Because uh, this is, ah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning out some space. Uh, I did not leave myself a lot of space on this one. Uh, whereas this is a super fast clock and putting one of these guys every other one just wasn't triggering fast enough to get stuff up the elevator. Uh, that is my current working theory. So far, everything seems to be working out. Nothing's getting jammed in a dropper somewhere and lost in the system so far. Uh, so for now, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let this be and uh, let it go. And, and I've got this, this clock here slowing things down. I think I mentioned it the last time I started talking about storage when I was showing off Blocky Bryson's bit and, and trying to make that work. I slowed this down with a, an item hopper with two items, just a, an etho hopper clock on a small bit of delay uh, because I didn't want to overload the transportation system. I did not use a water stream because I didn't really have uh, space for it with, with the way I got this set up. I'm using a hopper stream, which I, I'm not overly, overly enthused about. 
Uh, but again, this is a small storage, so I feel less bad about it because of that. And don't worry, I got composters on top of all those hoppers at the top there. Um, I'm trying to keep this from getting the framey place. Um, but I need to make sure that items hit that hopper at a certain minimum rate. Otherwise, they're going to start backing up and causing problems. Uh, and that's why I'm, that's, that is a big reason why I think I don't need the buffer there or the buffer before overflow, but I, again, I'd rather have them and not need it than the other way around. And of course the backside of the shulker unloader and, uh, yeah, uh, again, go, go watch pixel Roost video. Uh, that's, that's far better, far better than, than the than what I could do here right now. Um, <clears throat> if you follow me on Twitter, you'll notice that I pointed out a small problem with uh, the bulk storage. I did not leave enough space between bulk storage and multi-item storage. I forgot that there was the this, that the, this line overhung one block off from where the storage was and that this torch tower was one block beyond that and what that meant was was in a standard system where I've got uh, where I've oh, I should change I just change those buttons out before somebody accidentally do, I need to yeah let's uh, I just realized the problem that could be if uh, somebody accidentally pushed those that would break that would break stuff that'd be bad that'd be really bad um <clears throat> so anyway uh with the standard one where there's a comparator here redstone redstone and then redstone dot one more down this torch would be powering this redstone which would have all these filters uh just dumping everything into storage kind of defeating the purpose of having a filter uh, so I went looking around and cubic meter had a video on storage innovations. I didn't realize that there was this whole storage tech community and that's all they do is they work on storage systems and how fast and how efficient and how neat and how sorted. And, uh, yeah, there, there's some stuff in there that I'm, I might have to give another, another look. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, the stuff they're building is way more redstone intensive than the stuff I got going here. So, uh, mm. but, uh, on, on his, on this video for storage innovations, I found this storage filter. He called it an overstacked item filter. So, the, the red wool is the same layout as the impulse filter that we've been using. The redstone torch is same as what we've been using. And the redstone dot on this backside is the same as what we've been using. Here is what is different. We've got comparators here instead of repeaters. We've got a composter right behind it. So what's happening is until that redstone dust reaches power level 15, this comparator is reading that composter. And since the composter is empty, it's got a storage, uh, a signal of zero. So it is not depowering that torch. We've got two comparators instead of repeaters because we need to keep the signal strength from that hopper the same moving forward into that block. So the, the hopper is putting out a signal of 14. So this is sending reading 14, sending it forward. This is reading 14, sending it forward and powering that at, with the signal strength of 14. Uh, incidentally, in his example, these blocks were just the random construction blocks that were used. Like, so since I built all this out of red wool, that would have just been a bit of red wool. But I realized that, um, 
I, I wanted to make sure that if I needed to troubleshoot stuff over here, I knew what each filter was supposed to be for. And since in this case, all the blocks that were going into bulk storage were solid blocks that, uh, that would serve the purpose of being read through by a comparator, uh, I put a block and that saved me some item frames and entity stuff and yada yada. Not much, but it's enough. Now here's where the magic is. Each filter has the item to be filtered, an overstacked item, uh, an item that a non-stackable item, a non-stackable item, and 62 other objects for the filter. And this, this is the trick. Um, they are using the carpet mod to allow you to turn on and off overstacked items. We are not. We are taking advantage of a quirk where you can take two Curse of Vanishing or two Curse of Binding books over to a grindstone and it will give you a stack of two books. So that's two non-stackable items stacked together. Uh, I don't know if this is a bug that will eventually be patched out or just a, a quirky interaction that can't really be fixed without messing up other stuff or what's going I, I understand what's going on with it in that when you go to the grindstone it's usually used for repairing two items or stripping an enchantment uh, since books have no durability to repair and curse of vanishing and curse of binding can't be stripped on a grindstone the resultant box so you got your box box for your input into the grindstone and then the output box um, the output box is what gives you that double stack now you do need to shift click to move this over stack around because once you try if you try to single click like you normally would a stack it's going to pull them apart into one each so um, I, at some point when next I head over there I'll get another couple of Curse of Vanishing books and, and show you what I mean because uh, I don't want to pull anything out of here I don't think it'll break anything but eh, you never know um, so this is reading the signal strength and going one stack two stack three stack four stack 62 63 so it's one item away from five stacks and you want that item you're going to filter in first so the stone comes in it drops this goes to 15 turn turning off the off the torch and letting letting things run through one of the side benefits of this setup is that you can get a full stack of stone in here and, and it'll keep running down until it gets the last one, which means you can get a lot of items through here with less trouble. The downside is, is that this is not an early game setup. Like a normal impulse SV filter, it's a little expensive in terms of iron, uh, but most of the redstone's relatively easy to get without, uh, without doing too much mining. So you can set that up pretty early in the game this one though you're going to need a grindstone you're going to need books with curse of vanishing and or curse of binding uh, matter of fact ooh, i might be able to go go to go to storage and pick up a couple couple of books that have curse of vanishing or curse of binding and uh strip everything else off of them and show you with those and then it'll actually put them to use I'll think about that when I head over there. So yeah, so that's uh, that's it across the way. It cost me a lot of emeralds to get two Curse of Vanishing per each of these six filters. Uh, it, you know, and, and I used the wooden shovels because that was cheap and easy. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have used the, the stone because the cobble is even cheaper and more plentiful than the lumber. But, uh, oh well, you know. 
you make your decisions and you live with them. And that's where I'm at on storage. I, I filled up this hole and either here or on the other side, probably on the other side, I want to put a hidden door. Um, cause I, I want a way to get back here. That's not busting out a block every time I need to get back here, which shouldn't be often, but that that's what I did with the, uh, Piglin trading farm is I just walled up all the redstone and figured I bust out a block every time I needed to get back there and it was a pain in the butt getting back there every time because I had to remember where I could bust out a block and, and make it work and on the other side too I don't I don't want to leave a just a door here like you know hey there there's stuff back here I mean obviously there's stuff back there we we see what is clearly a redstone contraption uh so I'd like to I'd like to get like some sort of a, a hidden hidden door in here. I know I got room for redstone over on this side. I'm not sure how much room I have though, but I'm gonna go look for some nice uh, two by one, two tall by one wide uh, hidden doors, and, and see if anything anything strikes my fancy. Uh, it's gonna have to be something that works with solid blocks. Like I know I could put a I know I could put a, a double piston extender and some gravity blocks like uh, gray concrete powder um, and, and the gray would kind of fit, but it would just look so jarringly off compared to everything else. I want to make sure that whatever door it is that's set up, uh, it, it allows me to put two of the deep slate tile blocks there. Um, and then have a hidden button or torch key, or I might even I might use this as an excuse to try to play with uh, the pufferfish player detectors. That's something that I've not done yet. The basic idea is that you get close enough to a pufferfish and he blows up and expands. Uh, and, and so this this is a way to to you, so you get close enough to the door. The pufferfish detects that the player is nearby. He, he whoop, expands out like Kirby, and um, that triggers the redstone that opens the door. And then when you get far enough away from the door, he relaxes, and, and the the door closes behind you. Um, and honestly, uh, as long as it's not triggered while I'm here at Overflow, uh, it should be okay. I want to make sure that you got to get like in this corner here, ready to go. But I, I won't do that until I figure out what door is going in there and how much space I need for that and how much space I have left over. Uh, so now we get to the fun part. I, I've got to start put the way the way this storage system works. You've got to have a placeholder item in every one of these chests. So every chest needs a placeholder item item um and i started doing the gray stuff the black stuff the the brown stuff etc etc and getting my two and a bit rows of colors and all the colored items in there but as i'm thinking about it if i've got if i've got six stacks of glass in here that's a problem i got too much too much gray glass over here to i shouldn't be having six stacks over here uh, same with the pain, same with the wool, same with everything else. Uh, so I might, I might go back and it's, uh, since I haven't gotten too far, um, I might go back and set up a box for, a box for dye, a box for glass blocks, a box for glass panes, a glass, a box for wool, a box for carpet, a box for powder, a box for concrete, a box for terra. Well, oh, wait, no, now we're back. Yeah, because then, then we're only at nine, uh, nine, nine of these taken up instead of 17. And, and that allows me to spread out some of the other stuff. Because again, I, I, I don't need the level of storage that I had, that we had in the community storage that, 
we last used the system in. I just need placeholders here for stuff. Um, so, so buttons. Uh, so let's try to get some of the, let's try to find a home for the rest of this stuff. I was going through these because that's where I was starting. But now that I've reconsidered, I think I'm going to go back there and get my lumber boxes and start loading up the lumber up front first and then maybe start working on stones and things. And I, I think I got a screenshot over here of the old of the old storage and, and just kind of take some inspiration from that and figure out what sorts of what sorts of stuff I'll need to set up. Because, again, uh, like we ha we had a full a full box for uh no sorry four full boxes dedicated to sandstone stuff uh there's a lot of sandstone stuff but i shouldn't have that much of any one over here i shouldn't uh same same with the fancy stones like we had a full box for granite a full box for diorite a full box for andesite uh, and, and I'm 50-50 on those. Uh, yeah, so, so, eh, we'll, 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 we'll play with that. Uh, I do, I've been using Honeycomb as my placeholder because, uh, I have an abundance of it and I gotta find some good use for it, right? So that is where that is. These guys have all been running pretty good. Uh, what I would like... Oh yeah, that's right, the fountain. I, I might just throw some slabs up here just because that irks me. Um, and unreasonably so. Okay, that guy's working pretty good. All right, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, that's right. I just came down here for the uh, for the honey honeycomb. And the 68 levels, we'll see how long that lasts. Also, I'm, I'm getting ready to get uh, some name tags so I can silence these two. I'm about tired of their stuff. Especially when I'm standing here AFK and that's all I hear. These two guys bleeding in the corner. Uh, eventually, what I was thinking of doing is once I figured out all the storage needs and that sort of stuff, I... Uh, I'm thinking of setting up a little barn cave type dealy in here. And that way I can keep a horse, a mule, the two llamas uh, in a barn in here. But I, I need to know how much is going to get eaten up by uh, redstone for, for stuff over there. That That's why that's been on, on hold. Uh, also, this path, I've got to redo it. This is going to be my, my next big terraforming project because i got to finish getting rid of the powdered snow. Um, I need to fill in the holes that we've dug out as we tried to dig ourselves out of the powdered snow or at least not die from powdered snow because uh, that's definitely happened a couple of times and not just with me. And, and what I'll probably do is take the dirt and snow blocks and start re-terraforming the, the contours of this side so I can get a nice little path that's a little bit wider than this, like maybe three blocks wide, well lit, and uh, I think uh, and then at least get it out to the edge of the plane and then it can tie in with whatever, whatever road system we end up with there. Uh, I want to make sure that there are no spots like this where you can't immediately walk up. Like, the whole path should be walkable without jumping. Um, and, yeah, so that's that's a future project. Uh, probably after I get that done, too. Because I think I've actually got a mule over at uh, the castle waiting for me. Oh yeah, and I gotta figure out homes for a lot of that kind of stuff too. I also need to hit the, hit up the end. Those, those two shulker shells represent the last of my shulker shells. I 
have precisely one box left in this portable workshop. And if it wasn't for the fact that you can't put a shulker box inside a shulker box, I, I'd totally make that and leave it in there because that would at least take up less space. <laughs> okay. So let's start with A, my name is Acacia. No. Uh, sorry, Rest. <laughs> I, I'm going to need, I've, I need to, oof. I'm probably going to have to burn through a fair amount of this to get, uh, to get all the Acacia stuff to fill in, fill in space. Um, I need somewhere to dump the, uh, extra item frames. I made too many when I made those. And I, I about started putting item frames up here. I'm like, wait a second. I got the block under the, under the box there. Short term memory, something or other. Don't know what to tell you. I think I remember something about somebody saying it happens. I don't know. Um, all right. Do I want to make an acacia log or an acacia sapling? My, uh, identifier. Oh, that's right. And what else do I have? Where, where did I leave the, uh, armor stand book? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to need that guy too. And if I were me, I would have left my scaffolding. It's in the project box where I had all the redstone for storage. <laughs> uh, and again, all these items were collected for for the Blocky Bryson version. I mathed out the repeaters and the droppers, and I, I made a whole nother uh, stack of observers for that. And yeah, that, that just didn't work out. So let's uh, let's do this, shall we? Acacia stuff. No. Let's just go with Acacia. And I'm going to do... Yeah. So I should be able to go like so. And then item frame fix. Okay, good. That means I don't have to worry about accidentally popping that thing off or turning it or whatever. Um, I keep debating on whether or not I want to turn the item frame invisible because I don't like I don't like the visible item frames. But uh, I also don't like right clicking here to open a chest and finding out I can't because the item frame that the invisible item frame is covering up the hitbox. So uh, you know, turn arounds and roundabouts. Um, all right, I'm going to keep a shulker box in here just for acacia stuff. Uh, and this is the other thing. Do I even need a full chest of just acacia? I mean, I or just a, all the all the acacia things, because there's part of me that thinks that a full chest dedicated to that is too much but when I try in, in the previous iteration of the storage system I tried getting the warped and crimson lumber to share a box and that was tight and that did not leave room for some of the items that are made so so that's kind of where I'm at with that like I, I need to get some acacia leaves too so I guess I'll, I'll leave the saplings um Hang on, let me go grab six, six honeycomb. Actually, uh, there's what, nine? Oh! Is that what they did? Wow. Wow, I was not expecting that. Mm. All right, 
So I'm going to leave a placeholder for leaves. We'll get our logs. Um, leaves, logs, blocks. I shouldn't have as many stairs. Uh, I would love to know where that little rat is that keeps making what, what zombie is. Oh. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, so he's probably right outside my door. Because uh, the <laughs> I, I found out the hard way that uh, y you see that snow block right at the top of where I dug out for storage. That's the top of uh, that slope of the mountain. <laughs> this thing just barely fit in there. Um, like like. That ice and snow is where a spruce tree it currently sits. <laughs> uh, I'm one bad creeper blast away from get it from busting into storage. Uh, that's uh, that's on the agenda to to fix and set up. Man, I ate. I'm full, but whatever it is that somebody's cooking smells good. Oh, I'm informed it's tofu. It no longer smells good. And thank you, Arcadius, for making the coffee. You know, I put two crafting tables in this thing, and I swear right now I'm about ready to put a third one right here. Because... I I I <laughs> like I need I need to craft up some blocks. I don't want to walk all the way to either end. <laughs> yeah, there there should be a cup left. I mean, Rayesta's over there right now, so there might not be a cup left, but uh there should be. Oh yeah, I need some room for those guys. Uh I need some slabs. I think I'm going to need to take uh, a few more of these guys. And let's move these over a little bit. Maybe I don't need that much space for the planks. Uh, I hope I don't need more than three for those. I, I mean, there's a part of me that wonders why I even... I shouldn't need them anyway, but... Let's grab three more. So I can oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna want two of those as well. Cause the the uh I am likely to end up with some of those. I've already got some for a couple of the wood types. Uh yeah, let's keep Two of those handy? What am I like more likely to have a bunch of the logs or the strip logs? Alright, and we got the stairs. Stairs, slabs, planks. Uh let's just go to a crafting table and uh craft up a few planks and see what oh. I need Doors, fence, um, <laughs> I'm going to need more sticks. I'm going to need fence, I'm going to need fence gates, I'm going to need a button, a pressure plate, I got a door, uh, trap doors. Door, trap door, fence door, pressure plate, button. Uh, fence stair, slab, oh, sign. No boat, though. Because uh, boat's going to be non-stackable, and I can't stuff those in here anyway. All right. And I think what... 
because see, once I get a template together, the rest of them will go easier, or theoretically. Um, I should need more than that for the doors, the trap doors, the fence gates. Uh, ooh. Or do I need one more space for fence gates? Because I feel like I, I end up with a lot of gates and fences. Yeah, let's do that. I just need the one for the door, two for trap doors. Uh, I'll want three for the fence gates, three for those. Um, so two more fence gates? I feel like I'm missing something. What what am I what am I forgetting? Uh room, 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 room. Forgetting something that I'm gonna, or something that I'm gonna need more space for. Uh, or do I do that? Do that for now. The, the, this will be my template for the moment. Uh, we'll we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see how long that lasts. Um, dump that glass in there before I forget about it. Uh, uh, I'll, let me pick these guys up, so I don't keep forgetting that. Uh, that's not a right now project. Uh, same with these guys. Let me pick them up. I'll just, uh, just dump it all in here. Hello. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Just kind of, I, I need to rename one of these boxes a rug. Matter of fact, that's what I need to do. I need to hide a chest under a rug and, and put, put it storage in air quotes. <laughs> Birch is next, right? I'm going to need more sticks to make stuff. Uh, oh, and I need I need a permanent home for any of the non-stackables I want to keep handy. I keep thinking about maybe doing that on the other side there, but I, I that seems like a, a big waste of space. So... I don't know. Or, or maybe I'll just uh, uh, fill up uh, fill up one of these with non-stackables and placeholders for non-stackables. So that way, as they enter in here, I can just dump them in there. Or I can do like we ended up doing in Season 1 and just let the non-stackables fill up overflow and work around them as best, as best I can. Oh, sticks. I, I was going to say I needed more sticks. So I can make fences and fence gates for placeholders. Oh look! Sticks! How are you doing? Are you doing that? Oh don't worry. You, you, you guys are... Uh, I'll be taking care of you in a minute. Oh, maybe not a minute. Uh, because <laughs> this... The, no, this is, this is the next project to finish. I've got to get these farms finished. Uh, these guys will be real quick. They that won't take up much space. These guys, I gotta I gotta look up the farm that I was gonna use for them. 
because uh, I need to figure out how much space they're going to take before I work on the rest of this. And, and these guys I got solved. This is going to depend on how much space I have. Same with the cacti. And I couldn't remember if a plural cacti is two eyes or one. All I remember from Latin classes, Salve. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to get into that. Oh, I'm so not going to get into that. I, I can't drink whiskey right now to get into that. right by my anvil. And we'll get that guy there. Item frames fixed. And I got a double, I got a double check. And, oh, uh, I still got to update the server to 1.18.2, but I got to go look and make sure that all the data packs we're using have been updated. I'm pretty sure everything on Vanilla Tweaks has, but I don't think the three that I got from uh, Voodoo Beard have been uh, updated yet. So I got to double check on that because I've noticed that the version of the statues book that we're using will not let you lock the illuminate the backlit uh, item frames which is a little bit of a shame okay it's a lot bit of a shame all right so we've got saplings leaves logs saplings leaves logs I need the Special ones, three stripped, three not. Um, Arcadius, if you want to come over and at least help with the lumber, that would be that'd be appreciated. I don't know if you're up to that. Leaves, logs, the special stuff. I need planks. <laughs> Drawing that as straight as all right. Uh, three stairs, three slabs. Stairs, slabs. Doors, trapdoors, signs. I probably don't need three stacks of signs, but I'll, I'll rearrange that. All right, I need doors. Trapdoors. Signs. Button, pressure plate. Three fence. Three fence gates, and I th think, oh, um. Two strip logs. I might need more than that for the birch, because I think I got a bunch of that left over from a failed attempt at decorating. Alright, so door, trap door. Trap door, and then three signs? Yeah, I think I might collapse the signs down. You know what, let's do that. Let's collapse the signs down to two. And go two doors. That seems a little more reasonable. Alright, 
two doors, two trap doors, two signs, three gates, three fence. Three gates, three fence. Button, pressure plate, stripped, and a placeholder log. Button, pressure plate, stripped, and a placeholder log. Oh. Probably helps if you use the right, uh, the right tool there. Actually, I might just keep uh, the boats in there. I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll just leave that there for the moment. Alright, Acacia, Birch. Uh, Dark Oak would be next, right? two fungi after that, or the two uh, nether trees. I, I guess they are technically overgrown fungus, even though they are lumber. Um, that tree kit I'm going to have somewhere handy. Matter of fact, that, that I might just do that, is have like miscellaneous kits and just uh, placeholders that I can uh, collapse and expand uh, for that. I'll think about that. Let me, let me toss it in overflow for now. Because I know that's not something... I, I just want something that I can go to an ender chest and go, okay, I'm going to do a bunch of stuff with trees. Here we go. Um, and do, do that kind of deal. I'm going to need more dark oak saplings before too long, too. Hey, Arcadius, did you, uh, did you see that Netflix is getting ready to bring back Iron Chef with uh, Alton Brown as the... as the, uh, whatchamacallit... Yeah, yep. Netflix is going to bring back Iron Chef with Alton Brown. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. Like, I mean, I feel pretty good about Alton Brown working on most any projects. That That's not the part. Don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Um... It's more a question of uh, whether or not Netflix is going to do a pretty good job of bringing back Iron Chef. Their their track record of late it has been a little hit or miss, you know? Uh, how well it does is who the chefs are, or... after I realized I have a microphone why am I sitting here typing <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say <laughs> no um it depends on who they get as iron chefs okay that's gonna depend that's gonna determine whether or not it's uh it's worth watching yeah, I mean, if they get, you know, yeah, it, it really just depends on who they pull. So if, if they, they get aren't true iron chefs, then I'm I'm 
not entirely sure it's worth watching. I mean, so so when you like, so we're saying if they get like Bob from Jim's Crab Shack, uh, we we get a problem. But uh... I mean, if he's a contestant, sure, that's okay. But he better not be a. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So you're talking you about the main the chef. main one that they're competing against. Yeah, the Iron Chef. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not familiar enough with Iron Chef to know the details of how how that goes. <clears throat> Traditionally, Iron Chef was made up of four Iron Chefs. In later seasons, it became five Iron Chefs. And then in later seasons after that, they added up, you know, five billion Iron Chefs. <laughs> anyway, the case is, is that you have a contestant that comes on and they want to challenge one of the Iron Chefs. So they come in and on the day of filming... Um, now, whether it's a true surprise or not, it, it's never been stated, but okay. basically the contestant comes in, you literally had all four Iron Chefs on stage, and the contestant said to the judge, because the judge would ask, which of our Iron Chefs are you here to challenge today? Okay. And they would give a reason why, and then they would announce who they were actually challenging. So. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Like, some people would be like, you know, I'm a, a Southwestern cook, and, you know, Bobby Flay, you know, pretends to claim that title, yada, yada, yada. So, you know what? I want Bobby Flay. Um, some people would come on there and say, you know, I'm not here just to play the game. I'm here to challenge, you know, myself. I want to go against the best of the best of the best. I want Chef Morimoto. Oh, uh, okay. Because he's from the original show. <laughs> um, that's how he got his spot on the American version of Iron Chef is because he was an original Iron Chef from uh, the original show, I believe, it was in Japan. So... The, whole reason Bobby Flay granted you know he's a Michelin star all that good stuff he's got several restaurants you know so on and so forth but one of the key things that got him a place as an Iron Chef in the American version was the fact that he actually went over there and competed against Morimoto twice okay so um, so he has a lot of experience about how the whole competition goes. <clears throat> okay. That makes sense. Now, I know you've watched a fair a fair number of the the Netflix uh the 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 Netflix uh uh cooking cooking type shows. How comfortable do you feel with their potential handling of this? Like, do you, do you think they got a decent odds of doing it right? Or are you like, I don't know, I mean, Netflix, am I right? Um, where where are you feeling at Netflix doing that versus, I don't, I don't even know who else would be, who, who else would be in the running for that kind of deal? Uh... Food Network would be the only one that would, okay, you know, be in the running. But they they're the ones that drop the show. So if they're the ones selling the rights to the show, obviously they have no intention of picking it back up. And honestly, the reason they drop the show is because ratings tanked when they uh, <laughs> lost a bunch of their good Iron Chefs because they pushed some of them out the door. Some of them had, you know, oh legal issues thanks to the me too movement things okay. like that um i'm, I'm not going to <laughs> get into the nitty gritty of it yeah i mean i'm just gonna say you have an old italian guy what do you expect to happen in an old italian kitchen i mean come on <laughs> it's just you know that's how that's how junk was back in the day um 
But, uh... So, yeah, you had your four original chefs. You had, uh... Cat Cora. You had, um... Warimota. You had Bobby Flay. And you had, um... Oh my goodness, my favorite one. What was his name? Killing me. Any other day, I could have told. Oh, you that. That, believe me, I that I know exactly how that goes. Where it's like right on the tip of your tongue. Uh, the dude with the tattoo and the and the this and the that. And... Yeah. Do I about have that right? Yeah, it was the guy was hilarious. Um, he was a he was a you know an older Italian guy. They had an episode where he got challenged. Now, again, no one knows what the secret ingredient is until after the person's been challenged and then it's revealed. But it's on the stage the whole time. Okay. So. All they do is lift the lid, and there it is. So again, this comes back to... You have to wonder if they know beforehand what the ingredient is. Or they they whether or not they know who the person being challenged is. Um, to cater the ingredient to it. I don't know. Okay. Um, they make it seem like it's never, you know... It's never a foregone conclusion. The guy can challenge whoever they want. Or the the lady. Whoever the contestant is. The contestant, yeah. So, if you go with that mentality, you have an episode where... uh, Mario Batali. There you go. Okay. (laughs) Mario Batali gets challenged. And... They get down in front of the altar, and the lid comes up, and it is a bunch of wheels of Parmesan Romano cheese. (laughs) You've got this Italian chef wearing his, you know, customary, like, orange Crocs drop to his knees and do, like, this, like, praising the altar kind of maneuver. (laughs) Oh, man, it was hilarious. And this is the same chef. He got challenged. Uh, I forget uh, what kind of fish it was. It was a giant fish. But he has his team go grab a bunch of stuff off the altar, but he grabs one giant whole one and dances it back over to his table. Like, literally dances it. (laughs) Wow. Yeah, just a funny guy. At least his stage presence was funny. I mean, okay, so now now we're getting never, to where the the behind the scenes was a little potentially a little less funny. Yeah, well, you never know. I mean, yeah, anyone can be someone different. Everyone yeah. wears a mask in front of a screen. Come on, except maybe you. You just wear hats. I just hide behind my coffee. Yeah, yeah. You change windscreens on your mic. That's what you do. I don't know. About, I probably ought to. (laughs) (laughs) So where are you at? What project are you working on? Uh, I am doing the Children Week quests in World of Warcraft. No. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have a week to do them, so. Uh-huh. No, I, I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, no. I, I, I gotta, see. Gotta grind those dailies, right? You know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. I I see. 
I, I, oh, you don't need me today. Look at you. You're really <laughs> playing with your storage system, Mr. Redstone. Oh, uh, yeah. I got a fair bit of redstone to, to deal with today. Well, we'll see how much of it I actually get done. Because, again, I, I got to find placeholders for all this. I have not run... I have not run this yet, so I, I am only guessing that I did all this right. Um, and holy mother of, observer, of observers, Batman. I thought we had plenty of quartz after uh, our last foray into the nether, and then... Uh, <laughs> uh, that's good, huh? And, and that that's just for half of what we built la in Season 1. So yeah, between between all the all the comparators and observers, the uh, the only nice thing is that with the rail <clears throat> machine that I've got in the basement, all the powered rail was a lot less troublesome. <laughs> Cause this this thing uses a lot of powered rail. Uh, although here's the thing, I didn't realize it until I was going th or I'd forgotten about it until I was going through the the world download again to look at how all this worked. Um, there is another version of this that is like 10% faster, but apparently when, if you try to run it that way on a server, it gets absolutely lag-tastic. Like, he's like, here's the way, here's the original version of the storage system, and it's a series of platforms with each step by step as you go um, and it's like this is the original system it works pre 1.11 so if you're really rocking old school storage there you go and then there's two other paths you take the red path which is faster but lagtastic and the green path which is 10 percent slower but <laughs> much more server friendly uh, I, I went for the green path again. Always. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else was it? There was something. There was something else on. On cord killers that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned while we were here, and I, I, I. All I remember is that I was certain I would remember it. <laughs> I mean, I was sure I would remember. Oh yeah. How's that going for you? Uh, I'll let you know in a little bit. <laughs> okay. That's fair. I'll go with that. Gates. I need one more fence post. And a couple more planks. Okay. Then we got the saplings, the leaves, the logs, the variants, the planks. You'd think I'd remember this by now. Stairs, slabs, right? Stairs, slabs, yep. Doors, trapdoors, signs, fence gates, fences. There we go. I 
maybe I'll maybe I'll skip ahead to the next little bit of redstone and then come back to this off camera because this can't be. I, I I thought I'd be going a little bit faster than than this and filling this up. Or I could do the chaotic thing and just start dumping stuff in and let it all fill in wherever it fills in and, uh, you know. No, Reyes would murder me. It's storage in my own place and she would murder me for that. What was that? I said at least there's an understanding. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I deeply suspect she would understand Green's sentiment in his latest video too. Uh, Mumbo decided to build like right next to his base. Like they, they've always based near each other. This is, this is like a bridge from that wall to where I'm standing across from each other. Um, and part of Mumbo's floor plan has a bridge on the other side of the main entrance and the vault and all that. And the only thing is, is the bridge, the center for the bridge Mumbo's got on the backside is like three blocks to the left of the bridge that Green has going between their two bases. And Green's looking at that like, Mumbo, could, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't you just move this like three blocks to the right, man? Like, like these need to line up. These must line up. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. I, I don't. I don't know who I. I don't know who I thought of with that one. I mean, somebody came to mind, but uh, you know. I'm not sure that I could uh I could swear to it. stairs I'm actually surprised I don't have a bunch of spruce stairs handy or maybe they're in one of my project boxes you know I, I keep looking at, at as I'm filling in items and wondering what random boxes of stuff I, I've got like uh, I, I know I've got a whole bunch of leaves that are in the project box for the sugarcane expansion that I just haven't gotten around to um, I'll definitely end up with some moss and glass left over from the bee farm. Um, I think I got, some, like, yeah, I got this random shulker box full of food. Uh, that... <laughs> uh, and so many, so many others. What? Oh, signs. Um, signs, signs, everywhere signs. Do this, don't do that. Alright, those guys, the box, stairs, slabs, doors, and signs. Oh, I already had, uh, I already had signs. Hm. I need fence and fence gates. And a button. Pressure plate. Kind of thought I had those two. Some strip logs. Those guys go there. Those guys go there. And that and that. And those and dums and does. <laughs> At some point, I will need to collect those leaves. They're they're too good for a lot of different stuff.
Yeah, like dropping saplings and... Uh, no, I was thinking about redstone stuff where you don't want them sticking to the slime blocks. But for whatever reason, you don't want to use glaze. Oh, and they're all, since leaves are non-spawnable, you don't have to worry about lighting them up like you do glazed terracotta. if you stand up to the right thing. Let's see how many levels I have left at the end of this too. to there, and I'll leave the Crimson Nilium. Do I want to leave that there, or do I want to put that with the Nether Rack? I think I actually want to put that with the Nether Rack. That makes more sense with the Nether Rack. Um, Alright. Where's my, where's my Nether Rack box? guys right next to each other like a so and hope I remember <laughs> because of course all right uh, leaves <laughs> I know leaves yeah I'll have to leave the nether work box there and I need I need to go for one more of these guys because I need to strip two to get three apiece A spare one there. We got blocks and stairs and slabs. I need two more trapdoors. Two more trapdoors, signs, and a fence gate. Two more trapdoors. Uh, signs, and a fence gate. Short term memory. I, I just went from the top of the scaffolding down below, and uh, yikes. They say this is the first thing to go. I hope you do, because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't help that one. Uh, that, that's so wrong. But is it? <laughs> I'll probably end up rearranging a bunch of this stuff before all is done, too. Because I'm sure something is, uh, I'm sure something's all sorts of weird. Right. 
before I forget, let me put the warp nihilium over by the nether wart stuff. Or the nether stuff. And this is where I get to see what I got all sorts of leftovers of and whether or not this ordering makes sense. Oh. Uh, I hear you burning out there. I don't even feel bad. Alright, oh. Not a straight a line as a kindergartner. Alright, uh. I had some of the the crimson uh, leaves, you know, words. How do they work? Uh, we got those guys. We got three of those. We got two of those. I need. Yeah. Sad Jobba. Why so sad, Mr. Job? Oh. I know the answer to that question. Gate. A lot more than one fence, but okay. I feel like the the mushrooms and the mushroom stems and all that stuff should go next. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, there are just the five types of coral? Question mark? Yes. Okay. Three versions of each, but yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, uh, uh, when it comes to just looking at in general, there's the tube, the bubble, the fire, brain. Oh, there's where I put my brain. Uh, <laughs> no, there's six. Six? What's the sixth one? You're missing purple. Isn't that the bubble? No, that's magenta. Okay. You take take a two rocket jump over to the castle storage, mm -hmm. and uh, just check that. Just to check behind me, I, I'm having oh. a brain fart myself. I, I thought you had a uh, I thought you had like a wiki page up or something. No, 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 no. Just uh, just check behind me real quick. Perfect excuse to get up and stretch my legs. That's right. 
I don't think it's been moved into uh, Castle Main. I think it's still over in the uh, stables. Hey, I made it! Ha ha! Ha ha! Yay! Oh wait, no, that's a different series. It's down further. Uh, at the bottom, yellow. Oh. For some <laughs> I look, I, I for some reason my brain registered that as a sponge. Three, four, five. Okay. No. Nope. It's not far off. Huh? Okay. It only seems to be five. Yeah, I know. I I mean I look as tired and scattered as I am. I swear that looked like a sponge. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll put a box of pickles and coral. Um, normally, I'd like to keep all the lighting blocks together, but seriously, uh, the the sea pickles are not. Uh, I don't know that the sea pickles should be in the same same box <laughs> or maybe I should throw something else in there I don't know let, let me go back and double check my uh, various foliage and things I mean is there something else that's uh, ocean lake that would belong in the same box as coral uh, sponges maybe uh, I'm not keeping Pickles. any sponges over here if I get sponges over here then we get a we get a problem Pickles. Well, that, that's what I was thinking. That was my initial thought was to put the sea pickles in there because I'm going to need more space for the kelp than just a, a little random spot in the box. Or do I put the lily pads in there? And go with my original plan of keeping the pickles in the lighting box. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, hmm. Not that block, because obviously I can't differentiate it at a glance. So far, so good. All right, uh, set that aside for now. Let's just take a little bit of each. I do still want to keep the actual coral box again. I, I'd like to have a grab and go of certain items. Alright, so I'll put that there. So, I'm sure I should be fussing over the color order of some sort, but I, I just can't right now. And probably not for the rest of the season. <laughs> Obviously, I struggle with the yellow already, so... Uh, Th th this is just a, a little private stock, so I've got something handy. This should not be overflowing with stuff. If it is, I, I need to... I got too much and I need to jump it off over at Community. Um, 
Where's my light box? I think I'm missing some light sources in there too. I mean, let's be honest. I need most of the storage for redstone anyway. Oh! Seagrass should have been in there too. I, I probably won't have a ton of seagrass. That's not something I tend to accumulate a lot of, but that is something I'll want a placeholder for. What was that? I said, I was going to say, that just goes in the turtle belly. What are you talking about? <laughs> that just goes in storage. Uh, well, I do, I do have a couple of turtle eggs somewhere I thought I did yeah okay there we go I mean honestly I should probably put that with the redstone components if we're <laughs> if we're being <laughs> I mean Don't let the resident PETA member here you say that they're redstone they're redstone components to me <laughs> Alright, that's empty. This again, I need to be, uh... Oh. That's what I forgot for a couple of those guys. Okay, I forgot about the, the roots. And I do have the work... I do have some work blocks. Alright. So on these guys, I'll put the roots and there's the warped warp blocks. I, I'm also uh, suddenly, suddenly reminded of why it, in season one, I built this box one block down and put stairs in front to reach them because I, I find technically I know I can reach up there but I find myself constantly jumping because I feel like that's too tall even though I know it's not What's next? Hello? 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 I don't even know. The, the brain is a little foggy. My thoughts are cloudy with the chance of fog. <laughs> you do? It's pretty bad. You do? Yeah, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll just stick that there for now. It's not like I'm not gonna dump everything in there once I find spaces. Uh, the, the temptation is still very, very real to just dump everything in and wherever it lands, it lands. Uh, I feel like there there should be at least at least one more foliage thing. Because what uh, what other foliage is there? There's vines. There's grass, moss. Most of the kelp should end up over in the kelp farm anyway. This should just be whatever happens to be in a random project box. Uh, the bulk of it should be here in the farm. And actually, I'm going to need to keep some of that here anyway, so that way I got uh, something to build said farm with. Ooh, and I saw a design for a moss farm that I'm going to have to go look up how to build. 
because that will be very nice. Uh, it'll mean that we can build. <laughs> it'll mean that we can build moss block or mossy cobble and stone and whatnot without having to grow vines. Um, because moss block will work in place of vines for the mossy cobble, mossy stone recipes. And since you can make an automated farm for that instead of waiting forever for that to glow and grow and snipping one vine at a time carefully with shears. Sorry, was that a little too pointed? You know. For now, I'm just gonna go. Mother foliage. I mean, it's not like I can't go moving stuff around if once I if I need to. Definitely want space for dried kelp. Leave space for kelp. Lots of space for moss and carpet. Some vines, because old habits die hard. I shouldn't need too much grass. question is, is do I leave room for more moss or more kelp? We'll do that. There we go. And again, it, once I get a better feel for what what the storage levels are going to end up being, I, I can I can sort that out uh, better as we go. Uh, am I going to leave the poppy the the flowers with the dyes, or am I even going to want to keep a bunch of flowers? I don't. <clears throat> I don't usually keep a lot of flowers. As I collect more flowers, I'll just keep a stack of each kind of flower in there. Or more, depending on which ones it is. So, I, that'll be my placeholder for flowers. And et voila, that is done. of mushrooms, didn't we? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just the one box of mushrooms. Right. My screenshot is not as zoomed in as I would like it. And I'm too lazy to tap over and... As opposed to just squinting really hard and hoping I can figure it out. sort itself out before too long. All right. Uh Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any other any other foliage type stuff that would go there. Uh Oh. No. Uh, I guess I could put the uh the <laughs> Dried sticks in with the with these guys. <laughs> there we go. 
dead bushes are foliage, right? are all non-stackables. That's a non-stackable. Let me get that stuff out of here for now. I could have used the <laughs> I could have used the horse armor for the non-stackables in the item filter and then I wouldn't have had to craft anything, but that would have been like, can you imagine just using Hi, I'm just using this diamond horse armor for filler. There's more non stack. Empty maps are stackable or non stackable? Stackable. Stackable, okay. saving that that iron hoe it's got what 17 durability left i'm gonna keep that going until the bitter end <laughs> and, and I, I i will have to uh, i'll have to make storage for the non-stackables and find places to put all that stuff i don't know where but I, i'll find a place for it. maybe maybe i'll just put some barrels in up here because again they're non-stackable so they're not actually going to go through that's actually not a bad idea I could put some barrels up here for the non-stackable, and that keeps all the storage together. Lets me use a little, use the space a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. That uh, okay. Problem solved. Um, matter of fact, let's go ahead and. Uh, Coconuts. Deedly dee. There they are standing in. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Brain's wandering again. I'm gonna pause that. The crimson and the terracotta can go go through there before too long. I need barrels. Barrels are made with slabs and blocks and oh. Seriously, I need one more plank for one more barrel. Alright, fine. I think I got enough of those. We'll see how long that lasts me. Um, okay. Bows. item frames I set aside because I thought I wouldn't need them. Hello. Silly me. Hi. Oh, 
Uh, how about I actually put that in there first? That does not look fixed. Alright, uh, let's get up closer then. Item frames. There we go. Seems like an odd question to ask. <laughs> do do I have any spare swords? Alright, uh I don't want to do arrows anyway. I don't know why I have this one random error of slowness. You wouldn't happen to know Arcadius, would you? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. swords are a thing I'm going to want to have handy. You know, in case something untoward were to happen and I were to die unexpectedly. Or very expectedly, depending on how my day's going. Um, so why do I have all this leather? I, who needs this much leather? Oh, because I was trying to clear out the box from uh, where the, the zombie flesh overflowed. I still get to, I still get to fix that redstone. Maybe I'll do that Friday. That assumes I'll remember to do that Friday. Oh. I'm going to need some of that. Uh, ah, fine. Let, let me dump off most of this. I just realized I'm going to need some of that to make uh, armor with anyway. So I've got armor for the placeholders. Because my brain... Cloudy with a chance of fog. We, um, appear to have uh, a fair, a fair amount of leather. Oh, and item frames in case I need more. Do we have a random, uh... Since nobody's really gonna use that... Uh, swords, axes... Uh, is there a gold I'm pretty pick? sure all the gold stuff can go out of this. Uh, I'm just taking stuff to use for item frames. And I'm trying to make sure that I pick stuff that nobody's going to use. Like, I I'm pretty sure using a diamond hoe for nothing more than an item frame is going to be a little, uh, a little something. Uh. <laughs> Check them, because if they have, uh, this and, or the, uh, Oh, the binding and... Take them off. Yeah. Oh, like that pickaxe with the curse of vanishing? Exactly. They don't come off. Uh, Might as well give that a use, because we can't melt diamond. <laughs> you know, we're, we're one custom recipe away. Although, what do, you, what do you do? Do you make a diamond nugget with that? Like, uh... <laughs> oh, I'm going to keep that in my backup, too. <laughs> 
Sorry, I, I just I just thought of all of a sudden having a bunch of diamond nuggets, and the, I I don't know why they just tickled me so. And then what? You got to get nine diamond nuggets to make a to make a diamond. Oh, get get a. Uh, uh, oh, do we have any extra name tags? I'm totally stealing two of those. See, you don't you don't want to walk down that path. You really don't. What? So instead of golden apples, you can... Oh, yeah, that's it. That's what we do. Uh, since notch apples... Sorry. Uh, enchanted golden apples. Show me how long I've been playing there that I still remember when they were notch apples. You see, kids, back in my day... I, I don't know why I went half Yoda there. Huh? If a jukebox takes a diamond... Mm hmm a diamond nugget would get you a Walkman. Oh, <laughs> uh, now, now we're really getting into into the territory that uh, you know I don't know. <laughs> Besides, it's not like I haven't accumulated a little bit of gold. I, I think I can turn some of that into. Uh, I got the sword, an axe. I need a pick and a shovel. Sword, axe, pick, shovel, hoe. Am I missing a tool? I don't think so. Oh, perfect. And then I can start working on the next one. But first, while well, I still got a couple levels left to spare. Silence. Me. I love you guys, but uh There we go. Thank you. Oh don't worry. I, I'm 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 getting ready to get to all y'all. All y'all. just wait just wait. <laughs> why are you guys I uh, never mind. I'm not gonna ask why the why the farmers are hiding in the shrubbery. I'm pretty sure that's a question I really don't want the answer to. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm still kind of curious as to... Why, why they're in the shrubbery, but...
arms, arrows, swords, axes, picks. I suddenly realized I couldn't remember if I, I had made sure to pluralize everything. Yes, that matters. No, don't ask. Helps if you use the right workstation. Oh, good. For a second there, I thought that was going in the wrong place. I don't know that... Oh, wait a second. I do have, uh... Alright. And that's my tree kit. Uh... Which I'm leaving there for now until I find a better place for it. That also means that I can go ahead and I've got the iron hoe there. I got that diamond shovel there. Those two pickaxes there. Look at that. Getting organized already. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm done. All right. uh, I need the next row of storage. I guess I'll come through and do the the polished polished deep slate around the edge once I figured out where the top of the barrels is. Mm, do I leave these just over the boxes or do I extend oh, that was not what I meant to do. Or do I extend that out? to there, where this pillar obviously is. Now, um, that stays there. Uh, those guys go in there to be sorted later. Um, How you doing? That stays there for a moment. Oh, wait, no, because I need... How you doing? Hello? Head... Shoulders... Knees and toes. Horses. Of courses, of courses. I just put my... Uh, there's my die kit. Maybe I'll leave that right there. That, that seems like it might be useful. Uh, How you doing? How you doing? I got a bunch of yellow dye. Let, let's go ahead and just use those. Uh, bam. Hello. It's almost like cheap gold. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Fool's gold. Discount gold.
actually we should call this rides. Because we're also going to put the saddles in there. And saddles are for more than just horses. And we'll go other travel. And I've got a boat. Where did I put a boat? There we go. Found a use of the boat already. Isn't that beautiful? And that becomes other travel. Which will have boats and minecarts and etc. 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 feel like I am neglecting some non-stackables. Yeah, I'll sort those out as I start working on working on getting stuff squared away. Oh. I need one for shields. We can't make copper shields. <laughs> what would what, what would oh what would a copper shield be? Um, hmm. w would that have like a lower durability or some other special property? Yeah, I gotta find a spot for all that in mass storage too. Uh. <laughs> Copper shields. That that could. Uh, hmm. Or is that lower durability, but you get uh, easier enchants? I was like, wait a second, I thought this thing was only six wide in the first place. It is only six wide in the first place. I went seven. I went all the way across to that workstation there. 
So I might uh, I might make the next four go there. And that way it'll go from pillar to pillar. Yeah. I knew something seemed a little weird. for those. Um, oh, I need books and beds. And some shoulders that are going to go to work. Uh, there's the pimp my ride. am I going to go through before this is done? That's what I... <laughs> thanks. That's what I need. I, I need to get one of those automated automated uh, anvil refillers where, you know, as soon as that disappears, uh, some redstone drops another one in its place. I don't expect to have a lot of enchanted books over here at any given point in time. I just want something uh, relatively handy for uh, when I got a, a project I'm working on. Come on. <clears throat> ah, stupid scaffolding. Sometimes it's wonderful, and then sometimes... Sometimes... Maybe that's what I'll do, is I'll, instead of keeping my to-go boxes over there, because I do want a spot for them that is separate from everything else. Well, uh... Oh, no, I, I did pick them both up. Okay. Uh... 
waste a shulker box with that. I thought I had. Yep. There we go. I don't need the coral box in there because that is my to-go kit. I guess I'll get the ice and snow on the next one. box can stay in the to-go kit. Um, oh, no, wait. I usually keep that in... Do I need that in my... No, I don't need that in my ender chest all the time for right now. Same with the potion parcel. That can stay in there for now. Uh, most of that I need to keep handy. Um, oh, snow. Snow. Now, for some reason, I got the chili peppers stuck in my head. Can't imagine why. of that in a little bit anyway. Ooh, I need more snowballs. Um, solving two problems with one. I needed more snowballs and I had a few too many blocks in there. Although I'm probably going to go craft those back up into blocks before too long. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, I got a lot of all of that. Yikes. I need to go drop some of that off at the store. Oh, no, I, that's right. I have all that snow for a project. Why am I surprised I have all that? I needed that for a project. I... I'm 
much nether stuff do I have? How you do? And how do I want to do that? Crying obsidian. Oh, I just had the box. I'll count as nether stuff. Uh, I'm gonna want some placeholders for more of the purple stuff, but later. I don't even know what I'm gonna do about the heads. Uh, that, that, that's that's one that I might just start packing up into like like. I get a bunch of shulker boxes. I, I might just start packing all those into into you know uh, boxes and just call them kits. And I'm not even gonna try to sort that right now. You know what it is? It's mini blocks and heads. I think I got more stuck over in my bedroom in the castle too. Probably didn't come out right. Hi. Hi. Am I missing some? Okay. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with the chests. I'll just put that right there in my to go, and I'll. Name it and figure something out with that later. Matter of fact, those topazes can go in that box I just put away. Look at that! Progress! Of a sort. Um... Let's grab the Fancy stones next. Oh, dripstone sure ain't fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what variants do we have? We got polished, polished stairs, polished slabs. We got the regular, we got regular slabs. Regular stairs. We got regular walls and then regular blocks. Yeah, polished stairs, slabs, and blocks. Regular stairs, slabs, and... Why do we not have a polished granite wall? Never mind. I, I don't... Mm -mm. This, this is... Alright, uh... Again, I gotta remember that this doesn't need to be massive. This is just enough for private stock. Yeah. Stairs before slabs, always. There we go. What is going to be the symbol for the fancy stones? Granite. I have more diorite and can afford to use it, but I refuse to use uh, fancy stones. Diorite can go at the 
bottom where it belongs. Actually, if I'm going to cut something short, I should cut the polish short, not the not the regular. Mm. I, I think I might need to fly over to uh, community storage and get some andesite for placeholders. Although I would have expected, uh, I would have expected to have more, but I guess, uh, I guess I haven't run across any veins of andesite in the uh, in the castle dig. Although I've actually been using the andesite too. That is, uh, oh wait a second, why why am I why am I wasting time with that? I can make andesite. It's just uh, cobblestone and diorite. And I definitely don't have as much use for the diorite, and I got plenty of cobblestone. <laughs> why, 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 am I, why am I making life harder than it has to be? Never mind, don't answer that. Ta-da! Alright, uh, let's bump that in there. We need some of those. Some of those. Some of those. I, uh, I guess I didn't need those. There we go. That's good enough for here. It's almost 9.30. It's almost 9.30 and I got two rows out of this filled out. and I still haven't finished uh, emptying this junk. So I still got dripstone and coarse dirt, but I could probably condense some of this down here too. Um How you doing? How you doing? Hello. And what's gonna go in that last uh that last non stackable spot? Like there's something blindingly obvious that I'm forgetting. I'll leave that there for now. What do you mean redstone isn't always the answer? I uh, I, I failed to see where you're going with this. Because I'd still have this problem if I was trying to manually store it. Oh, yeah, because it would have just been uh, a few random boxes tucked into a corner. With, with the vague hint of possibly organized. Still gonna need the stone and cobble products. Uh, dirt pods, all mycelium. Although honestly, I don't. I haven't run into any pods or mycelium yet. Hmm. I got 
get the foodstuffs, Blackstone. Mm -hmm. I probably just need one box for Blackstone, to be honest. Uh, the Tuft can go somewhere else. I'll, I'll probably put the Tuft Dripstone in the core, and maybe the course dirt and all that stuff together. Um, no. Blackstone. Blackstones. There we go. Sure, that makes sense. I am forgetting some of this too. Alright, so we want space, fair amount of space for the raw blackstone. Uh, let's just see what else we can get. Do I have blackstone slabs? Yeah, I'll get a couple more. Do I have the raw blackstone stairs? Yep, walls, yep. Uh, let's get a couple of chiseled. We got smooth. We need the slabs. We got stairs. Wall? Not that kind of wall. Uh, bricks and smooth slab, or polished slabs, polished stairs, polished walls. That appears to be it. Okay, so that's all i got to find homes for now. All right. Uh, oh, I'm probably going to want to put more polished, or more space for polished. Because that... I will almost certainly... Uh, and brick. Those things I am almost certainly going to use the mess out of. All right, let me go with some stairs, slabs, and walls. We got polished buttons, stairs, slabs, walls. I did not think that went through. All right, we'll put the button there. Stair slabs, walls, polished. Stairs, slabs, walls. We'll find a home for the buttons on the pressure plates and the chiseled in a minute. As we got brick. Let's put the chiseled there. And the pressure plates. And the buttons. And then we got the stairs, the slabs, and the walls. Perfect. That's all the Blackstone stuff. There we go. Oh, I had some of those walls already. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um, that also means that I can leave that as a black shulker box for now. Because I don't think I need a Blackstone kit. Um, I'm going to have to do the same thing for Deep Slate, aren't I? Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Because I think... Does, actually, I think Deep Slate's got more variants than the Blackstone. Because in addition to the cobbled, the polished, and the brick, uh, it's also got the tiles. And the, the raw Deep Slate. Oof.
Ella. Hmm. Hmm. And I want to make sure I leave extra room for. Uh, like, I'm half tempted to pull the grass out of the bulk storage and put the cobbled deep slate there. Because I'm more likely to end up with a mass ton of cobbled deep slate than I am grass at this point. Actually. I, you know what? That is exactly what I'm going to do. stone too. <laughs> uh, Alright. So in place of grass, we're going to get cobbled deep slate. Glad I didn't name the boxes now. I was getting kind of cranky that I had neglected that. quick. Okay, good. That is working. All right, all right, all right, all right. So much scaffolding. Oh. <laughs> nope, I did name it. Because <laughs> of course I did. Uh, well, uh, I bet you type it right there. check because I've got I got the chiseled I could use a couple of slab placeholders I got stairs I got cobbled wall I got the brick slabs brick stairs brick wall bricks themselves Tile slabs. T do I have tile stairs? Yeah, tile stairs. Tile. No, that's the polished deep slate wall. No, I do have tiled wall. I got tiles themselves. I got the polished blocks. The uh, some polished slabs. Polished stairs. Polished wall. Okay. And that's everything. And the raw cobbled goes there. The regular deep slate, if I ever end up with any of it, which I shouldn't. Um, I'm sure I'm going to use a lot of the deep slate tiles, so we'll put that up there first with the stairs. And the slabs. 
in the walls, in the brick, and the brick stairs. Brick slabs and the brick wall. Uh, no. Polished, polished stairs, polished slabs, polished walls, and we'll put the chisel there. I got one more set of stairs, slabs, and walls. Um, hmm. Hmm. Ah, we'll see how that fills out, and then we'll go from there. I'm sure I'll end up rearranging some of this somewhere, but that, that gives me a placeholder for all the deep slate stuff and that also means I can go ahead and get that back as a regular black shulker box how you do I do want to keep a fair amount of another rack handy. So let's do this. Hi. Those are all the things I want to find homes for. Let's just double check. Uh, if I go. I think I got more than a row. No, I got a row. Okay. Uh, sand. Soil. Soil. I don't need a lot of that or a lot of that. I'm almost certainly not going to have all that handy. Another rocks. There we go. Another X, another bricks. Let's make sure we got all the variety of these guys. I've got some chiseled, a few more slabs. I got stairs. I'll grab a couple more walls. Another stair. Another couple walls. 
because I don't really keep a lot of that handy either. I'll take the red and then go stairs, slabs, walls, brick. I keep saying that oh uh fences another another brick fences that's still a thing right isn't it uh I thought it was is it made with sticks or is it made with the bricks oh 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 my I'll keep a placeholder, but yeah, that got expensive. What in the world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's leave us two spots for those. Let's leave us two spots for those, and we'll just put everything else in there. Ooh, well, I don't know. Maybe I need more spaces for the regular nether bricks, then. Uh, maybe I won't keep that much regular nether brick. And we'll go chiseled, chiseled, stair, stair. There. Okay. There's another shulker box done. Did I? No, I didn't lock that yet. I can't believe I'm resorting to using barrels for towering. No, I'll just leave that as my empty shulker storage. Because, <laughs> I mean, I, I, that's where they're going to end up anyway. It's not like I'm running em empty shulkers through there. Uh, hmm. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. How are you doing? That's not visually... Let's, yeah, let's go with the chiseled. Um, let's not go with the chiseled until I get a little more space <laughs> freed up. Uh, I know I usually end up with a fair amount of smooth stone, although some of that's an accident of... Uh, I had a... <laughs> I had a lot, of, a lot of space left over. Um... Let's grab half a stack of stone, half a stack of cobble, and let's make sure that we got all the variation of stuff. So we got stairs, we got slabs, we got walls, that, and we got mossy. And mossy slabs, mossy stairs. rest of the cobble can just go in there.
stairs, slabs, walls. And actually, I think I'll leave the rest for a brick box. Yeah, because if I do that, no, there's no way that's going to work. All right. variants of everything now. Alright, I got stone stairs, stone slabs. There's no raw stone walls for some reason. We got chiseled. We got bricks. We got brick slabs, brick stairs, brick walls. We got stone buttons and stone pressure plates. I don't think there was anything like that for cobble, right? Uh, I can't keep track of everything now. All right, we got the stairs, the slabs, the walls. Yep, nope, we're good. Chiseled brick stairs slabs walls. Maybe I should have done pressure plates.
shouldn't really need that much stuff, but uh, trying to fit everything is... Uh, What else should go in the stone brick stuff? I got the regular stone stairs slabs. There are no regular stone walls. Bricks and the brick stuff and the chiseled. Smooth has taken up all this spot in the cobble box. Even though that doesn't really make sense, but uh, hey. I got one more row of stuff. I don't plan on using enough stabs, 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 stabs. No, it's not D and D time yet. Or do I just leave an extra row for chiseled, even though I know that's going to be a waste of space? Yeah, because it's not like I can't rearrange this later too. I might have to look at running the red-handed doom or something like that. That's what I really should do. I should have two rows for the bricks. I should definitely have uh, two rows for the bricks. Where's my stone? Because I actually think I've got a bunch of bricks floating around in one of the project boxes. So yeah, that'll... Yeah, that's better. That, that feels a little more like it. Okay. That's better. Oh. <laughs> I do have a fair amount of smooth stone. Yikes. How do I have some... I'll have to bring some of that over to community storage. At some point in the very near future. Oh, and that stuff can go oh, uh, find a home. I'll do something else with that. Oh, look at that. Another box down. I don't I don't think I'm gonna make my goal of having this uh, cleaned up by, by by the end of the stream. I think I might miss it. Ooh. I might need space for more obsidian. Nah, I don't need space for more obsidian. Uh, How you doing? What else do I need to find out? Oh, end. Um, I might have hit up all that end stuff. Probably not. Let's, uh... There we go. Uh... Stairs, slabs, and walls are the only things that'll go with the stone. That's, uh... Mm. What about the purper? I already got stairs. I'll grab a couple slabs. And pillars. Is that really all that you can do? Stairs, slabs, and pillars? Yeah, stairs, slabs, and pillars. Like, come on, Moye. Show the purple some love. Alright, uh, so we got stone. We got brick. We got stairs, we got slabs, we got walls. Uh, we got the purple brick. And stairs, and slabs, and pillars. We got some coarse flowers, some coarse fruit, 
and some popped chorus fruit. There we go. Oh, let's uh, go lock that. get the clay and the brick together. I can go up high because I don't I don't plan on using I'll keep some stuff. I'll keep uh, some clay pots there. Get some walls, some stairs. Some slabs, the regular brick, and the clay. I'm gonna need the little balls of clay too. Stairs. Did I? Oh no, I made doubles of the stupid walls. <sighs> Stairs, slabs, walls. I need the bricks, clay pots. Get a bunch of those guys, and we'll just do clay. Or do I want more brick? Because I... I think I'm going to want more brick, only because I, I can't remember if the, the stonemasons trade you the raw brick or the um, brick blocks. I think it's the raw brick. So we'll go with that. We'll see how that works. That's probably a waste of space anyway, because I don't I don't build with brick that much. I probably should, but there we go. Maybe I will just do the colors the way I was originally going to. Hmm, I don't... Well, maybe not. I don't know. Copper's going to take up a lot, too. Uh, I'll definitely put the tuft and the drip in the... All right, coarse dirt. That's nine across, isn't it? Three, six, nine, yeah.
pods all. I'm sure I misspelled that. Well, that's okay. Mycelium and Podzel. Storage is harder than I thought it would be. Right, I still need the copper and the iron stuff. Hmm. Uh. Alright, I, I guess I'll be running a lot of sand through there. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we got. Um, oh. How about I actually take a... Hmm. Chiseled? No, I don't have a bunch of the chiseled. I keep going to the wrong bench. Sandstones. There's nothing special that I'm missing on this side, right? Oh, I forgot to I forgot to check if the smooth sandstone. Yep. All right, sandstones. Uh, so we'll get sandstone stairs slabs. Walls smooth. Stairs, slabs, and since there's no walls, we'll put the chiseled. And then we got the cut. I need two more cut. Um. Cut slabs. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to have to... I'll have to rethink this one. Because, uh... Do I just leave two spots for the red at the end of each of these? That might be what I do. I'll do it like this for now, and I'll start filling in the red, because I, I honestly don't think I used a lot of red before, and I don't think I've got a tendency to use too much of it as we go. Uh, I use a lot more of the smooth than the other sandstone stuff, although I should probably... I should probably go work with more of the red sandstone. Uh, I might have to spend some time over at the Mesa and uh, make a Mesa out of that. Sorry, I'll see myself out.
Or do I just make a second box for the red sandstone? Because the red sandstone's gonna have... The red sandstone's got the exact same variety. Alright, I'll leave that box blank and, uh... Oh, <laughs> I'm not putting that there. <laughs> I'm going to say ostensibly so I don't forget, but I will almost certainly forget why I have a random placeholder there. Um, let's uh, let, let, let's be honest about this. I I will I will sit here in the utmost confidence, thinking that I will absolutely, surely, positively remember why that is there. I'll even believe it. Let's get all this stuff Hello. out of uh, Hello. out of here. Uh, so instead of using that as storage, we can uh, keep all this in the in the same place. Um, we'll do the same basic idea. We'll get three. Is that how I had it? I I was just there not two seconds ago. I know it wasn't three or, or two rows of each because I, I end up with way more bone blocks than I end up anything else. But uh, no, it was only one row of bones and two row two rows of bone meal. Hi, Lou. Hi. Hi. That seems. Not quite right. Because I'm more likely to drop the bone meal into, uh... Oh. <laughs> you know what? I think it's just going to be a row and lots of blocks. Bones. There we go. I know. It. Well, a lot of that's about to get turned around and dumped into some other farms. Um, all right. That, th this is all the sorting I'm going to do on air. Because uh, uh, I'm getting towards the end of my focus. And I definitely need to double check and make sure there's not, like... Uh, I'm going to need some prismarine placeholders, uh, a bunch of quartz placeholders, and randomness, and copper, and iron. Or maybe I'll put the iron with the, the gold and other whatnot. And yeah, I, I got a bunch of other placeholders to figure out, and I'm not entirely sure if the these are going to go back to this style setup, uh... What do I have more of? This style setup where it's dyes, glass, wool, concrete, terracotta, or if I'm going to drop that down to nine boxes, um, you know, one for just wool, one for just dyes, one for, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, it just depends on how much I need out of the rest of that. Although, honestly, I, I'm, I'm really leaning towards not separating it out by color. Just for, just for space, because I, I don't, I don't see myself needing that much of any one color of any of that stored over here. If it was a community storage, that would be different. If it was, you know, if I wasn't going there for that kind of stuff, that would be different. 
Uh, let's consolidate some of this down. Looks I'd like this to look neater than it is. actually want the ender pearls. Well, some of the ender pearls. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. What else can I, uh, I can do that. The stone buttons already have a place, so they, oh, not that box. That box. find a spot for the flint too, but that means one more empty box. These are all things that I need to find, find homes for. Oh, I did have bricks. I had a bunch of bricks in there. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have a placeholder over there for banners, so I'll leave the banner box in my to-go kit. Uh, the... How you doing? Yeah, is there one of these that's empty enough that I could just dump all these shulkers into? How you doing? I think there is. I could put that just there. All right, that's not too bad. I mean, I, I I got that down to well better than half of what it was. Uh, I'll put that away for now, even though I'm probably going to need more anvils out of that before this is done. And the die kit I can put away for now. I'll. That's going to go on my... Actually, no. I, I need to find places for that. Uh, there we go. <laughs> don't think I'm going to want that much raw honeycomb. I need to bring more of that over to uh, to community storage because I, I don't need that much. And I might have to unwax a bunch of this copper just because I don't... I don't think it needs to be taking up space as waxed copper. Maybe? That's a good, that's a, mm, that's a question. How am I going to set up a, or am I going to set up more than one box of copper? Because, uh, I think there's stairs, slabs, and, yeah, stairs, or, yeah, cut stairs, slabs, and cut blocks of each stage. Oh, I, I got I got candles. I got plenty of candles. Where, where's my uh That that's actually one of the things that I gotta I gotta light. I I don't need varieties of candles in my light my light bits. I just need the raw candles and I can dye them when I decide to get there. Ooh, that reminds me. I need uh if I if I do this by color, that means I'm gonna need to find a spot in there to, to put some candles and what what else has changed? There there's uh there, there's other things to consider now. Hmm. Is there other not block light sources that I'm forgetting? And rods, torches, soul torches, soul lanterns, lanterns. Yeah. I'll figure it out as I come across it, because uh, I definitely wanted to keep two lighting boxes, one with just the placeable bits and one with the actual blocks. And I think technically I need jack-o'-lanterns for some of this, but I think I'm just going to keep like a row of jack-o'-lanterns and mostly stock up on sea lanterns. 
uh, sea lanterns, glowstone, and shroom lights. The, those are the... I'll keep some jack-o'-lanterns handy because there are times when uh, you want to use jack-o'-lanterns, mostly when you're in the middle of a redstone machine and you need it to... Um, <laughs> you need it to not drag stuff along. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a travel a travel box for ender pearls and torches or torches rockets. Oh hey, I got that down to I got that down to four four boxes. I mean, as long as you got a box half full of shulker boxes, a box. <laughs> I reclaimed a couple of shulker boxes. That's always nice. Uh, I got uh, I got a I got some storage going. I don't think I'm gonna end up putting together any more of this. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably tear up some of this and do uh, seriously and do uh, And do the the polished polished uh, deep slate. Although I feel like I should add another row there just to have it the same height as the boxes here. Yeah, yeah. Let me do that, and I'll put some I'll put some empty item frames, and that way, if I come across anything else that I need to I need to drop a random spot for. So, oh, like I might want to I might want to. Barrel full of uh, where's my totems? Because uh, I I got like all the three totems in my backpack there, uh, so I might I might want a box of uh, a box of totems. <laughs> that should probably be like in the accessible spot down here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll clear out that last one. I'll put down I'll put down another row of barrels and then do the deep slate border across the top there. Uh I may I may have to find something to slot in there just to, just so I can do another border of some sort or I don't know. I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. I'm half tempted to actually instead of doing a double chest put a uh a hopper here into that hopper there so that way I can restore this to being just uh, the crimson planks and things all right all right that's like the fifth time I said I was gonna call it a call it a night and yet I keep uh, I keep running around and looking and going hmm maybe I should maybe I need to what about uh, so now that I find my credits buttons <laughs> button and say thank you for joining along, I hope you had fun. Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, always coffee craft. Sometimes I even do more productive things than I did today. Uh, Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is up for grabs. Here lately, I spent a lot of coffee craft. I do plan on bringing back games revisited. It's been on almost a year-long hiatus now, and that's that's too long. That's way too long. Uh, so, I, that's got to come back very soon. Uh, and then uh, and then we'll see from there. Like, I still want to get some more guitar stuff going on the channel at some point. Uh, I got a few other things that I want to do, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of trying to figure out what's going on and what's next. Um... And Anon Jr. wept, for there was no one around to raid. All right, then, uh, thank you. Have fun. I'll see you next time. <laughs>